TIFU not checking for my pocket, and paying $100 to have it re-delivered. Sir I had to take an Uber ride today. I'm located in Toronto. It was a $20 ride. When I was getting off the car my phone fell out of my hoodie pocket. When I realized he already drove away. I locked my phone. Had my friend text him. He then said he is dropping off someone at Niagara Falls and wants me to pay $150 for him to drive. Back. I asked if he can go down to $75 but he said it's very low. I then offered $100 then he accepted and now I'm awaiting his arrival. Part of me is salty about having to spend $100 but honestly it's my fault. I'm just a student and I need my phone to log in to do my midterms tomorrow. So as long as I have my phone back, I guess I make this a life lesson. If anyone even reads this, check your belongings when you get off someone's car. You do not want to go through what I just went through today one day before a two midterm day. X200B TLDR lost my phone on Uber ride one day before midterms. Stressed sir caved and had to pay $100 for driver to bring it back from Niagara Falls to Toronto. I managed to leave my phone in an airport shuttle cab in Turkey. They were great. They arranged to hand over the phone to another driver coming in the opposite direction as they passed between the airport and hotel and delivered it to me in the airport car park. He didn't ask for anything, but he reluctantly accepted my leftover holiday cash. Made it through security to the gate just as the last few passengers were boarding. Left my phone in the back of an Uber last night. I was in my house digging frantically through my bag when there was a knock on the door. Yep awesome Uber driver saw it and brought it back to me. Which is great because I was like. Shit don't have my phone to contact him to tell him I left it. He saved me. Wallet fell out of my pocket in a taxi on an overseas trip. Needless to say, I fastidiously check all my pockets before I finish getting out of any vehicle nowadays. For your $100 you learned a valuable life lesson that you'll never forget. This sort of experience has a way of burning the lesson into your brain. Be glad you'll never do it again. I once made a similar magnitude of mistake with my house keys 30 years ago. And since then I have never once walked out my front door without confirming that my keys are in my pocket. That happened to me the other day. Guess I was too tired. He was a nice guy and just told me to give what I found fair. I gave him a fair price knowing H is probably missing out on at least two riders gas and as I was trying to update his tip for the higher amount. Uber wouldn't let me for some reason no matter how many times I tried. He didn't have Venmo or PayPal which I used so I gave him the only cash I had. A $100 bill lol. He didn't want to accept it since it was too high, but at least he had $10 to give back which is understandable who even uses cash now. Once forgot my backpack in an Uber, which happened to have an Xbox and my laptop in it. Tried contacting him, but he said he just accepted a ride that would take him out of the city and he'll contact me later. My friend then booked a ride got him meaning he didn't get that ride lol. Went for the bag and the guy tried to drive away but he managed to get it. I had that guy a few more times despite reporting him for trying to steal my shit. The rule for Uber or any other e-hailing out there regarding items left in car is simple. The driver would set any arbitrary price they want to deliver the item back to you. If you accept fine. But if you refuse, the driver would simply pass it over to the nearest Uber office and file it under lost item. If it's not too terribly important to you and you got the time.
Go to the office and go through the hassle of whatever paperwork to get it back. Did you track your phone to see if it indeed was in Niagara Falls? Even if he was. Chances are he lives in Toronto and would head back I were you. I'd grab my phone from him and give him a 20 for his troubles. Yep. I have a sanity check every time I get out of a car or leave a location. Keys. Wallet. Phone. If it's a car. Quick look at the seat too. Best Uber story I ever heard my friend got an Uber to take her to the airport. 40-ish minute drive from her place. She puts her bags in. Then steps aside for two seconds and. The driver leaves without her got all the way to the airport before she realized she only had the. Bags and not her passenger man face palming light skin tone. An example that went a nicer way the first time I visited Alaska. I forgot a jacket in my motel shuttle and my prescription sunglasses in the center console of a rental car. Both in Fairbanks. In my defense I was extremely sleep deprived due to very long travel days and not being used to the midnight sun. I didn't realize they were missing until we were on the train to Seward. I called both places and not only did they find my items. They both FedExed them back to my home at no charge to me. Both items were waiting for me in my kitchen table when we got home from our vacation. Had something similar happen to me except the Uber driver didn't want to drive back and my phone was gone. Police said they couldn't do anything. I'd gladly pay $150 for the pictures I lost. Keys. Phone. Wallet. Whenever you get up and leave any location. If you're wearing gym shorts. Do not fill your pockets as the material makes it more likely to happen. You got scammed dude. If the Niagara story was even true. He still lives near you. He was gonna have to drive back anyway. He just wanted your money. A lot of clowns in this thread. $100 is more than fair for that long of a drive. Since Yarl liked to tip. Just think of it as a tip for the driver. This is why I have a strapped bag and pocket zippers. Never have to worry about losing anything ever again. So long as I zip up. And that's all I have to make sure to do. I had a drunken frat guy spill his alcohol when I asked him to get rid of it and he lied. Turns out he left his phone. The instant I heard it ringing I rolled down the window and chunked it. Dick move on my part but felt really good. Where you fucked up is paying him the extortion money. Should have told him you'd give him $20 for his trouble and that's it. If he refused to bring it back you call the police and inform them that the driver has stolen your phone. You should also report him to whatever service he works for. I think you could have given him an address to post it to and it would have worked out cheaper and less of a drive. I can't get past the phrasing, getting off the car. $100 is a good deal for that drive honestly. This reminds me of the time I drove to high school on far less sleep than I needed. And left my keys in the car. Locked and running. For 8 hours. I had to shill out $50 cash for a locksmith to pop the lock. Thankfully there was no damage to the car. I barely even lost any gas. But being out $50 during high school was devastating. During my girlfriend's university freshers week. She and her new friends went clubbing. And the group split into two when coming back home. One group taking an Uber because one friend was heavily drunk. The other group walking back. One of the people in the Uber accidentally left their phone in the car. And the driver happened to drive past and recognized the walking group shortly after. So pulled over to hand him the phone. Tipped him handsomely.